What's up guys, Tony Rican here, and today I'm gonna throw down with a fun little Puerto Rican recipe. I'm gonna be making some pastelillos de pollo. You know exactly what these are, don't you? That's right, these are awesome. So let's just go and get started and jump right into this one. Remember guys, if you love all the cool content I'm putting out in my channel, the easiest way to make sure it keeps on rolling and help the channel grow is just to hit like and share on this video. Drop a comment down below, then go ahead and subscribe and share my YouTube channel. That way, every Monday and Friday, you'll get a brand new, really cool, simple recipe just like these pastelillos de pollo. What's that? Chicken turnovers. It is a Puerto Rican classic. To start, what I'm gonna do is start heating up my pan. I'm gonna add some olive oil and some sofrito. Now if you need, I have a recipe for sofrito on my channel you can look up or you can grab it from the store in the Latin aisle. Now after a couple of minutes, that's gonna be nice and fragrant. I'm gonna go ahead and take some diced tomatoes, add that in. Some adobo, a little cumin, some chopped olives, and some chicken bouillon. I'll get this mixed together and let it go for a couple of minutes. After a few minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my chicken. Now all I did is I got a rotisserie chicken and shredded that. I'm gonna go ahead, add this in, get it all mixed together, let it cook for about a minute. After I cook this for a couple of minutes, I'll go ahead and remove this from my pan, put it in the bowl, cover it. I'm gonna pop in the fridge for about 30 minutes to let those flavors really absorb together. While that's in the fridge, I'm gonna start preheating my oil to 350 degrees. Once my oil is heated and my fillings had time to get those flavors meld together, I have some Goya tapas. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little spoonful, I'm gonna fold this in half, then I'm gonna crimp it closed with a fork, and then I'll drop these in my fryer for a couple of minutes until they're nice and golden brown. And that's it. Guys, with that little bit of work, this cool little Puerto Rican recipe is done. Just take a look at how these came out. They freaking look awesome. They got a nice golden brown color. Everything inside's nice and cooked. But you know, I can't just look at these. I gotta go ahead, grab one, and just dig right in. Mmm. This is a little piece of heaven. You guys are gonna love it. So go ahead, like, share, comment on the video down below. If you need complete step-by-step -step printable instructions, check out AverageGuyGourmet.com. Head over to my Patreon. Consider subscribing for even one. Download this content, keep rolling out. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give this a try, and we'll see you guys next time.